afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Nick. I'm your Cisco Meraki representative for Africa. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about Meraki and what Meraki is. So, Meraki, or Cisco Meraki, uh, was bought by Cisco in 2012, and it's the first born in the cloud network architecture. Uh, what we have in front of us is an array of products, and the reason I look like I am having fun is because this is the 100th take of a video, which um, I've been watching over and over again, and I've been obsessing about it. And the reason I've been obsessing about this video is because that's what our engineers do on our technology. They obsess about it to make it the best in the industry. And um, I actually have a great pleasure of talking to you about it. So I don't mind at making the 100th video. So let's go ahead. At the, um, to my right, I have um, our perimeter security device, I have our edge switching, core switching, distribution switching, as well as our small eight port versatile entry level app um, switch. Um, on the right here, I have a small UTM device for branch offices. I have the teleworker device, the Z3, great little device. Uh, if you've just got a load of people working for you from home, especially if you've got really small sites, less than five people, you want to be using the Z3. And then my favorite in front here is the, M uh, the MV12W, which is a self-contained CCTV camera. And this redefines the way that you work with your surveillance. Uh, reason being, um, it has onboard storage, so no more NVRs or uh, DVRs, shall we say. So no more points of failure or complex uh, CCTV architectures. All you have to do is just plug it into a switch. Uh, it's the only camera on the industry. It will buy its own certificate and it will have a secure tunnel to the cloud and you'll stream um, your video over your LAN. So really, really responsive in that respect um, and conscious about your bandwidth. But more than that, it's packed with features that we will continuously release to you and which is included in the Meraki product. And that is object detection, which we just recently launched, so counting people. Uh, we also have motion detection, obviously. Um, but what we allow you to do is just record uh, motion footage instead of a load of static stuff um, that you tend to save to a hard drive and not really use. Um, it takes your surveillance from reactive to proactive. So you're actively informed that there are incidents. So it's really smart and I think it's the um, real ne next generation of uh, CCTV architectures. Um, so we are driving that particular uh, thought process, shall we say. So let's talk about three features for each product that you can take away and you can think about. So whether you're a school, a factory, a mine, a retail organization, a mall, whether you are a um, just a legal firm, you know, or an NGO, doesn't really matter. Meraki is for you. We're not talking about data centers here. We're talking about LAN architecture. So anything from perimeter security all the way down to access points and CCTV. So let's start with the MX device. So I'll just pick up the smaller MX device here and give you three really cool features about it. First one is comes with active malware protection, IDS, IPS. So security is the name of the game, and this boy or girl can give you what you need. Now, two WAN uplinks allows you SD-WAN capability between sites. So what we are doing is challenging the notion that you have to go and pay a load of money for MPLS. Not really needed. Um, SD-WAN allows you to custom performance class applications, but it puts that control in your hands through a simple dashboard. And that dashboard will have everything. It will have all your switching, all your access points, all your CCTV, all in one place. So you're no longer looking at command line um, or using ACLs to try and fetch data. Um, and in addition to that, um, we guarantee you 99.99% uptime on our data centers. Furthermore, to SD-WAN, what you can do is connect thousands of sites around the world in different countries and VPN them back to a HQ device, which would be something like this, which is the MX100. And for the smaller offices, obviously, you have the Z3, which, again, 
gives you cellular, and both the devices do. Again, all our devices gives you cellular failover on the UTM side. It gives you an internet line, cellular, and four um, LAN ports. Um, very, very easy to install, but most of all, you've got vehicles. They fit in your vehicles as well, uh, so you can connect them. Um, where that would be suitable is delivery vehicles, buses, uh, to provide a bit of internet access on um, public transport. Um, so that's again, you know, another element, and you can combine it with a wireless access point. Wireless access points. In my hand, I have an MR30H, a H4 hotel or dorm room. Um, we, oh, I particularly like this access point because it's got um, all of the features that we would want an access point to have. It's got a continuously scanning radio, which looks for threats looks for packet floods, uh, looks for spoofs. So you can kind of clear the air and give your customers a nice, uh, clean experience on wireless. And then we'll provide you with a wide channel range um, on five gigahertz, and then you've got your 2.4 as well. Um, in addition to that, this little baby um, tends, well not tends to, it does. I don't know why I say tend to. They just do, they do. Everything I say, they do. So they will auto adjust, so it keeps you within the regs, um, and you're not having to, you know, worry about being an RF expert. There's loads of profiles on there, jam packed, really click and go. Where you would be spending a week, two weeks, three weeks configuring particular pieces of your network, you're now spending an hour. In fact, you don't even need this equipment in your hand to start configuring it. It will configure from the cloud whilst it's shipping to you. And yes, we ship to 98% of countries in Africa. Um, when we talk about our switching line, which is here, there's three, three things you can take away. One is uh, a switch is a switch. We've not gone and reinvented the wheel. We've only made it better. So things like command line, again, you don't need that anymore. You've got configuration in the cloud through a sticky UI. And you can also do all of your packet capturing, cable testing, um, as well as configurations and virtual stacking of non-stackable switches um, in the cloud. So awesome. Great for troubleshooting. Great for when you have um, a cupboard that is messy and you need to go. Although if you have Meraki in your cupboard, you're quite clean. You'll also notice that I only have the switches here. Where are the controllers? So no, you don't need any controllers anymore. There's no controllers available anymore. Although your bigger units do come with additional fans and power supplies that you are able to add. All you need is a power cable, and if you do uh, require SFPs, we obviously can supply those as well. But the whole point of this is that it's simple. So to give you an idea, our office is uh, around about close, closing on into just 350 people uh, in our HQ. Um, we run on a full stack Meraki uh, here in London. Um, we have two UTM devices, one as a failover, so we're running high availability. We have MS410s, which is core switches, and they are aggregated. And then we have MS350s as a collapse core, so we run those on edge. And then everything else just connects from there. Um, so that, I think, encompasses it, except for one last thing, which is this little unit here, sometimes overlooked. Now, what does this do? Um, this is a little converter. So if you have an existing CCTV architecture, uh, which runs on coaxial cables, you don't have to go and rewire. All you do is, plug in the converter, cat six cable, and it will take the power um, and convert it to PoE. And what's really cool is that these cameras run on wireless. So you just need to associate them Create two SSIDs, one for um, use, one for failover, and you also have voice recording. So, when I grew up, we had something called a lucky packet. And when you opened it, you didn't know what you were going to get. Um, I think with Meraki, it's quite clear that there's no surprises, although the enjoyment in running the network allows you to focus on things that are important, which is um, to reinvest in your network stay competitive in the market um, and not spend all of your maintenance or at least your OPEX on patching the network. So I'm going to 
refer you to the bottom of the email uh, where all my contact details are. And you can contact me at any time, either on Spark, Skype, it's no longer called Spark, it's called WebEx. Um, and, you know, speak to me about how totally messed up that claim. I'll just continue because I'm not, I'm not going to do another take. Um, just call me. I'll do a I'll do a demo. I'll do a demo for you. Uh, we can be a bit more, um, shall we say, specific as to what your needs are. It only takes half an hour, uh, half an hour well spent, I think, um, and you'll probably be interested in the Cisco Green product. So until next time. Oh, and before I go, we've just had a major, um, shall I say, integration taking place, which is Cisco Umbrella. Um, amazing, amazing. OpenDNS um, security product, and you can now combine that with Meraki. And as far as I can see, this will probably be the will probably be very very formidable. Probably one of the best security uh, combinations on the market um, for you to look at things that you don't normally see. You know, is your data center being used for crypto mining? Um, you know, what type of other threats there are that um, your business is exposed to, um, and you know, you'll get that continuous reporting that you can flip up to the, um, the senior management levels or the executive level to show your um, return on investment that you're getting on the network. So I'll leave it there, otherwise I'll talk all day. I love this stuff. Um, and if you have any more questions, give me a call. Uh, you have my number.